Happy Sunday, everybody. Today is Sunday, July the 10th, and this is your two-minute thought with your boy, John Redman. Y'all, today's topic is take up your cross. Take up your cross. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, Jesus told his disciples, those who wanted to follow him, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Take up your cross. Well, what's this cross? What does this cross mean? What does this cross symbolize? The cross symbolized humiliation. The cross symbolized torture. The cross symbolized shame. The cross symbolized suffering. The cross symbolized death. Take up your cross. Well, well what does your cross look like? Ah, oh, Brother John, Brother John, I've, I've been in a homosexual relationship for 20 years. Take up your cross and follow him. Ah, oh, Brother John, Brother John, I've abused little children. I've, I've abused my wife physically, emotionally, sexually. Take up your cross and follow him. I've killed people with my hands and with my tongue. I've murdered people with my weapons. Take up your cross and follow him. But brother John, I, I, I'm sick in my head, my, my mental state. I have mental illness. I have schizophrenia and bipolar and, 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 and diseases. And I have, I'm Alzheimer's or uh, I, have, I have this uh, de depression that weighs up. Take up your cross and follow follow him. Oh, but Brother John, I've stolen from so many people. I'm, I'm not a good person. I, uh, I'm stressed out. I'm, I'm a hateful person. I hate blacks. I hate whites. I hate Republicans. I hate Democrats. I, I hate so bad. I just want to kill. So take up your cross and follow him. Why would I want to do that, Brother John? I don't even know if I can because there's a promise if you do. There's a promise and it comes out of 2 Timothy chapter 4, 7 through 8. Paul had a cross he had to bear. He had a fight that he had to win. He says, I have fought the good fight of faith. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not just to me, but all those who love his appearing. I love how you can actually, when you get to see Jesus, you can exchange your cross for a crown. Ain't no use in living in hell and then going to hell. Go on. Hey, hey, glory. Take up that cross of bitterness. Take up that cross of anguish. Take up your cross of suffering. Take up your cross of humiliation. Those things that you are ashamed of. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. Focus on Jesus. Don't be ashamed of your cross. Take up your cross and follow him. Do you know why you want to go on and take up your cross? He has a way of bringing your sorrow and turning it into joy. He has a way of taking your, 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 your suffering and your shame and anointing you with the oil of joy. Take up your cross. Take up your shame. Take up your, 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 your take up your humiliation give it to him and he's going to take that cross when you finish your race hallelujah Get up. glory be to your name most high god you're worthy i'm taking up my cross and i'm following you every day he's going to turn that sorrow into joy that shame into glory when you take up that cross he'll exchange that cross 
and give you that crown of righteousness. What do you have to lose? Count the cost. Take up your cross. Deny yourself. And follow Jesus. 